Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to control the size of the text in any text view by using a seek bar in your Android app. So we'll also do one thing, we'll create a floating video and we'll see how we can control the size of the text inside that floating video and the seek bar will also be inside the floating video. This is a little bit of challenge, so we'll see how we can do that in that. So we can name this app as size uh, of text seek bar. You can name it anything, so it doesn't matter. And I click finish and wait for the environment to load up. Once the environment loads up, this kind of window will come up. And first and foremost, what we'll do is we'll create our uh, floating window layout. So in this layout resource, you can just go and create layout resource file. And you can name it anything. So we'll name it pop-up window. I think. Yeah, so it should be a small letter. So otherwise, it was giving some warning in the down below if you have noticed. So click OK. And once it creates, it comes up, it will be like, uh, of course, an empty layout. It's by default give, has given me a constant layout, but I think that's fine. I will leave with that. And the things which I will add, okay, so this will be my pop-up layout, which I will call from the uh, main layout. So we'll design the main layout later. First, let's finish up this one, this window. So first and foremost, what I will need is, I will need a seek bar. So this is uh, what we'll use to control our text size. So just drag and drop, it should come here. And probably expand it. No, sorry about that. Yeah, you can control the size using attributes here also or whatever. Yeah, and then I'll give some constraints. I'll probably put it to the topmost because anyway, this will be a pop-up uh, window which will float on the uh, uh, on my main window. So I'll just probably make it somewhere top like this. Yeah, and what else? So ideal keep it seek bar and progress probably if there's something called progress i'll by default make it 50 or somewhere in middle so progress will be 50. max and mean i'm leaving it as it is because i think by default it's uh, 100 the max so if you notice if when you put 50 it came in middle and that's all is what i think as of now i need over here i'll then put a text view and i think i need to just increase the size of this text view uh, text view and you can make it whatever like uh, you're comfortable with and then we will have to add constraints you can add the constraints what else we need is we need uh, probably some text here uh, which will get uh, printed so pop-up window text here okay and uh, i think that's all is what i need as of now if you notice, I will go to the size of this text. So by default, it's uh, 14 SP and it can go up to, of course, it can go up to 96 also. So, and the our bar will be from 0 to 100, note that. So we'll use these things in our, uh, uh, yeah, coding. Okay, so once we have done it, we can go to the main layout, but before that, I'll also do one thing. I'll give this constant layout also an ID because we need to access it in our Java code. So I can name it anything again, uh, pop-up window, something like that, or pop-up window layout. It's a, okay, only layout, yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. So once we have given this ID and also most likely I'll give some kind of background color. So if you see here in the background, we can probably choose some kind of background, you can, whatever color you prefer, but I'll go for a bit of gray kind of color this time like this. something like that okay so yeah this this color you can choose it doesn't matter so i think more or less uh, done now i'll go to the main uh, layout over here i don't think i will need a text view i'll just put a button to trigger this uh, pop-up window of course the triggering part will could be something very different uh, based on your use case uh, it could be from image or it could be some auto download or something but yeah here i will trigger it manually using a button and i'll name it as pop-up window again this name doesn't matter and whenever this button is clicked this window has to come up so for that uh, what we'll do is we'll in the java code we'll just define quickly a public 
void button pop up button and i'll go back to my main layout and associate or connect this one to the method just now i have written using this on click yeah okay so more or less from layout perspective is done now we'll go to our java code start our code so few things in java code what we need is we need first some of the widgets so say for example seek bar so which will be uh, connected to the seek bar which we have defined there and then text view this okay and the view the uh, pop-up window view so we can make it view pop window a float window whatever the name might uh, yeah depends how you want to define it so no here is the difference or tricky part to access the seek bar in text view of the uh, not the main uh, layout but of the pop-up window layout what we will have to do is we will first um, create our layout or I will we'll inflate the, the pop-up window so that we can do using layout inflator and we can give it any name and then we will do get system service and this will be layout service so I think layout inflate service perfect this one yeah it may ask you to do a casting so just do type cast perfect and once we have done it then we can inflate it so layout inflator dot inflate and here we have to inflate our uh, pop-up window uh, layout so again there is some so here i'm not sure why it's giving that error so if i go back to my pop-up window and here uh, what i can see is the id is something different so i think i should have chosen this one and not that so after this what I can also do is wait a minute. So it's giving some error if I go back here and see. Okay, and then if I give it null because it should be root. Okay, no, it's fine. Yeah. So what I was trying to show over here is we have now initiated or inflated the uh, view of this particular layout, and now we will be using this particular view to. Uh, assign or to uh, define our variables the local variables seek bar and the other one so here by default what we do is get uh, or we do find view by id but since these are a part of this uh, pop-up window so what we'll do is we'll do view pop-up uh, window view find view by id r dot id dot and seek bar of course and the same we'll do for the text view so view pop-up window find view by id r dot id dot text view yeah so once we have done it then uh, what we'll do is we'll put a listener to seek bar so what we'll do is we'll do set on seek bar change listener so whenever the seek bar changes like whenever uh, we move this uh, seek bar in the layout this listener should be called or uh, will get invoked and what we can do over here is own uh, we, can, we can just define a new listener and here by default it gives you three methods on a start tracking touch a stop tracking touch and progress change i think we will just need is on progress change uh, progress change and over here what we'll do is we will just sorry, set text size and we can use this this i will be the returning the current progress after the change the progress has changed so that one and here, if you notice, so I will change from 0 to 100, although the text size will also vary from 0 to 100, but I think it may be good to uh, make it a little shorter, probably divided by 3 will be good. So when it reaches to 100, that's the maximum value, the text size will be around uh, 33. Perfect. So now in this method, uh, button pop-up method, we can uh, do our coding. So what we'll do is we'll define a no, not find view by id. I think I just wanted a final uh, keyword. Yeah, pop up window. And I will define a variable called pop up window and new pop up window. And the arguments could be I think the first argument could be the view itself and then the probably the width and the height. So I'll just put 
I'm just using some random uh, uh, number uh, numbers here and let's see what it comes so width is 900 which is like across this uh, from left to right and height is 500 oh, I think I can reduce this also to probably um, 800 we'll, we'll try we'll see how it comes up in the final layout but for the timing I'm just giving it random uh, based on my experience you can see and moreover uh, what we can do is now we can uh, define its location so show at location and of course the parent will be our view the view which we are driving in this particular uh, uh, method and then uh, we can define the gravity so gravity uh, what we can do is we can define the gravity dot mm, no gravity or probably I don't know uh, let me see if there's something called bottom because that would be a good idea to keep it in the bottom and then the location to start so I can make it like 0 0 to start the starting location so that's all I guess uh, this will be fine uh, I think as, at the end what I will also do is I'll just set an on touch listener so whenever this listener is or whenever um, this particular window is touched so what we'll do is it will call this particular method on touch and here what we can do is we can just close this uh, window dismiss yeah perfect so i think this should be fine i will uh, run it uh, in an emulator and in the meantime emulator comes up i will just clean up the code a little bit so my emulator is beginning uh, starting yes yeah, so i'll keep on doing the cleaning uh, but what i can see on the right hand side um, that the app is coming but going i mean it's not it's not loading properly so definitely definitely there's some issue with my on create method uh, it's not getting it completely run uh, in a nice way so if i quickly have a look uh, i think in line number 18 i can see this particular variable is grayed out that means and implies that this particular value variable is not getting values assigned to it so if i notice I think I missed out uh, line number 26 over here uh, the layout inflate when it inflates the particular layout pop window which is nothing but this one uh, it should get assigned to a particular view in our Java code so this was the part missing let me see if it works now so I'm running the app again wow something came up uh, and it looks nice so if I click on me on my this uh, button so I can see that pop-up window has come up and if I can use my seek bar I can see the size of the text is increasing and decreasing as well of course yeah perfect so I think it's working as expected so this was the difference which I wanted to note uh, or show that if you have used any of this widget in the main layout itself then you don't have to uh, explicitly mention the view you can just directly use find view by id but if you are using it in uh, another layout then you have to make sure that you are using that particular view to get the object and then you can set the uh, listener to get the particular uh, or to do the operation so here we are just setting the text size which is like one third of whatever the seek bar is so that's all i wanted to show you i hope this video is useful if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and